Derita, derita, derita. Stop, stop, stop. Ok, ok. Hop, 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 hop. No le mueva. Las paragus. Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie, and welcome back to my channel. So, in the video today, I want to talk about diagnostic kits. So, for those of you who are about to start a PA school, got accepted into PA school. I know majority, if not all PA schools require you to have a diagnostic kit. So what is a diagnostic kit? It's a diagnostic kit. It's basically a kit that has usually an otoscope. Um, it'll have multiple, for example, the otoscope will have a removable head that you can change it and put it um, an ophthalmoscope, etc. So it's a kit, which I will attach the photo here. And this is something that is used for PA school. It's used for your patient encounter examinations. So your patient encounter is where you learn how to do physical examinations and how to pr perform a history from a patient. And basically it'll teach you how to approach a patient when a patient comes in. And this is where you use your diagnostic kit. Also, it's very useful during your clinical year. So the reason why I decided to make this video is because I want to make sure that you guys purchase the correct diagnostic kits. Me, for being cheap my didactic year, I decided to go with a cheaper version of diagnostic kits, which I do not recommend at all. I think I wasted like $150 by being cheap. So I went on Amazon and I ordered a cheap kit guys, a diagnostic kit. It was very cheap. It was about 140 plus taxes, about $150. And it was really cheap. I had really good reviews on Amazon. So that's the whole reason why I ordered it. And it lasted me probably half a semester and then it broke. And I was so upset because I had to go back and purchase another one. Now, most programs usually will be in touch with Welch. So Welch Allen is a company that provides and creates diagnostic kits and diagnostic tools. You can find your otoscopes. Usually the ones that you find in the hospital and in clinics is are made by Welch Allen. And they're very good, they're very high quality, and they last a long time. So I really, really recommend this. And usually your programs are in contact with Welch Allen and they'll usually provide a significant discount for students if you purchase them within a certain amount of time and if you purchase them with the school. Because if you try to purchase them by yourself, they're a lot more expensive and without the code or without the program discount or the student discount, they're very, very expensive. So it's really important if you can to try to purchase them with your program. So my program was doing this when my when I started didactic year, but I decided to be cheap because these kits tend to range between $600 to $1,000, depending on what you want, whether you want a newer kit, like cooler ophthalmoscopes that you can charge or LED, etc so it really depends on which what you want and i decided to be cheap and purchase this because i did not want to spend 500 to a thousand dollars on the kit so i decided to go cheaper and i went online and i bought a 150 dollar one which was a terrible decision to make because like i said it only lasted me the first year and the first semester of my didactic year and i had to go and buy the welch allen ones so hopefully you guys do not make this mistake i highly do not recommend the cheap ones. I can say most of my classmates that did purchase cheap ones, they also had the same thing as that they had to go back and purchase the Welch Allen diagnostic kit. And then on top of that, guys, these Welch Allen diagnostic kits last a long time. Some of the providers that I'm with are still using in clinic the ones that they purchased when they were students in PA programs or PA school. So they will last a long time and they're very useful, especially if you wanna go into family practice, pediatrics, even the ER. Although, you know, most family practices do have them stuck to their walls, but you know, there, I've been to family practices and pediatric clinics that do not have these. So the providers usually stick them in their pocket and they're usually examining patients with them and it's a lot faster. So that's why it's really important that if you can and if you have the budget, I really recommend for you to invest, invest in Welch Allen products for your diagnostic kit. Now I'm not getting paid to make this video at all. I am just giving my honest, honest opinion and hopefully you guys don't make the mistake I did. I was trying to save a few bucks and I ended up paying the price in the end. And my husband even told me, buy the expensive one, but I was trying to be cheap. So anything that Amazon sells, I really don't recommend it's cheap, whether it becomes, whether it is for your suturing. So for example, I did the same mistake for suturing. My program had 
Sim, Sim Vivo, S-I-M-V-I-V-O, so I'll set the link below for suturing and the skin, the fake skin was just amazing. I think it's very close to real skin when I was suturing, but it was about 50 bucks, about 70 bucks with the suturing kit and everything. And I wanted to be cheap once again, and I decided to go on Amazon and I found all these great reviews on some of the products that they had and the skin was just terrible, the fake skin, the plastic skin. I mean, it was just tearing when I was trying to suture and it was just not realistic whatsoever. And I ended up wasting money because I had to go back and then repurchase the product through SimVivo. So that's why, if you can, I really recommend you to get your things from whatever your school recommends. So the diagnostic kit, Welch Allen is probably the best, or if not one of the best ones for diagnostic kits. Medical students also get their kits from there. And they're sturdy, they're great, and they last long, and they're just perfect because you're not only going to use them during your didactic year, you use them during your clinical year, and also it'll be helpful for when you start practicing. And for those of you who are interested in doing overseas, which I am really interested in, going overseas and practicing in areas that um, there's a lack of healthcare professionals or medicine, etc. You can take these with you. So that's another plus of definitely purchasing this kit and why I ended up also purchasing it because not only did I need it for the rest of my didactic year and my clinical year for my exams, I also needed it. I wanted it for future. And also same thing with the suturing kits. Um, I really recommend Seam Vivo. I think it's one of the closest things that I've felt to real skin and it does not rip because sometimes you'll have that plastic skin that will just rip when you're going through it and that was with the ones on Amazon. So I don't recommend any of the ones that you see on Amazon or eBay. They're super cheap. If you can, go through SimVivo. It's really good. On eBay, you can find prior students that only use a little bit of their SimVivo um, skin. It's like literally like a board like this and you can purchase them for fewer. So I know some of my classmates purchased them for like 15 or 20 bucks from somebody that was already using them. But if you can't find them on there, then definitely go through simvivo.com. They have great suturing kits and their skin is awesome and I really, really recommend it. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. For those of you who are about to apply to PA school, I know most PA schools will usually tell you, hey, this is what you need. And diagnostic kit is definitely one of the things that you need for PA school or even medical school. Um, definitely go with Welch. Allen, W-E-L-C-H hyphen A-L-L-Y-N. I will add the link below for your diagnostic kit and then for your suturing, definitely recommend S-I-M hyphen V-I-V-O, SimVivo. They have probably one of the best suturing skin and suturing kits to suture on. So I really, really recommend this. All right, guys, hopefully you guys like my videos. As always, if you guys have any suggestions or any topics you guys want to talk about, me to talk about in videos please comment below or send me an email and i will get in contact with you as soon as i can all right guys i'll talk to you guys later bye